if you are using canva to create your print on demand products but you realize that your design images are coming out low quality and even sometimes blurry or pixelated it might be because you are not using the right settings for your product design in today's video i want to share with you an easy way to fix your blurry images or low quality designs so that you know when you are designing for your products and these things are being printed and shipped out to your customer they are getting the best image quality as possible and having the highest quality image can not just increase your sales but also increase the number of reviews you get for your shop so i want to share this all with you coming up next So the main platform we're talking about today is Printify. And the reason for that is that it is a major place for you to get all things printed out and shipped out to your customers. They have a ton of products to create. But like we're talking about in today's video, if you're not utilizing the proper print setting, then you're definitely going to get a low quality image. But Printify does some things here to make sure that we are getting the right image size for our product. Now, if you want to check out Printify on your own and get started, they were so kind of give my audience a discount code to utilize the Printify Premium version. Printify Premium allows you to get a major discount on all products sold, therefore helping you keep more money in your pocket in the long run. And you are able to utilize this 30 days absolutely for free if you utilize my code down below. And if you want to just go ahead and get started yourself and actually build out your shop, you can get started with Printify absolutely for free. I'll make sure to leave all of these details down in my description box below for you to see what is best for your print on demand business all right so one of the things that we definitely want to do is make sure we have the proper setting in our design studio if you are getting those blurry images when you are converting your design over to printify then it's definitely something to do with your canvas size and definitely your dpi settings so i want to share with you how to find those individual settings and in printify before you even design your product so you know exactly what to do when you are designing your product and making sure you're designing in the right setting so with that being said i want to head over to printify and we're going to look at five specific products that are popular right now on Etsy you should be designing for and how to actually find the right settings so you are designing with the highest quality possible. So we wanna head over to catalog and Azure Printify has a lot of things to use for print on demand. In our case today, we'll start off with t-shirts as that is one of the most popular things to sell on Etsy. We can pick whatever quality of product we want to sell. In my case today, just for example, We'll sell the Bella Plus Canvas 3000 series here, and you'll pick a print on demand provider. In our case today, we just simply want to go down to the bottom here and start designing. And when we get to this page here, one of the things Printify is going to let us know is the canvas size here that we need to upload our design. Now, every product is going to be different, and even every print on demand provider space is going to be different. And so, when we are thinking about creating for a space like this, just be mindful that everyone's space for print is going to be different. Now, when we do head over to the top portion here, how we're we able to see the pixel count in the design space that we have here is going up to the little eye here where we get more information about the product. And as you can see here, we can see all the information of what t-shirt it is, what quality it is. This is where we want to focus, right? This area where it says print area size. And it gives us a pixel count that we know we need to input into whatever design space that we have. It is highly important that we stick to this pixel count because this is going to give us the proper dimension and the proper space for our product just not to look great, but also to have the highest quality to print well when this is shipped out to our customer. And if we go down a little bit further here, it will even show us the DPI level, which DPI means dot per inch. In short, the higher the number of DPI we have, the higher the quality is gonna be. As we can see here, if the DPI is set to 72, then that's gonna give us a lower quality as opposed to having our DPI set to 300. And when you are looking at this, when you are designing your products, you definitely gotta make sure that you're starting your designs off well because you can do a lot of hard work in designing and creating, but then your products will come out very blurry or not as sharp. And sometimes you may not even see it if you are designing and not recognizing these numbers here. And then your customers get a product and it's not as sharp or crisp as your mock-up photos may be. And so with that being said, for t-shirts, we want to set this to be 4,500 by 5,100. That is the print area that we have. And we want to ensure that our DPI level is set to 300. So say if I am designing in Canva, I want to head back over to the pixel count that we said we're going to do, which is 4,500 
by 5100 pixel count and the DPI level is going to be 300. So for that to happen, I want to head over to custom size. Now, the reason why I want to do this is because when you look at the default settings that some of these programs have, they may not have that large DPI setting. And so when I head back over here, and this just say, for instance, I plug in T-shirt here as a Canva template size, you can see here that they do the inches 14 by 18, which is totally fine. But when I open this up here and just say we start off from a t-shirt that we have, when I go in a little bit further and see the actual size of this, I can go down to download here and I add some words here just as an example. But when I head over to download and I save this as a PNG, you can see that this pixel count is drastically lower than what is required from Printify. Printify requirements for us to upload our t-shirt design is 4500 by 5100 and as you can see here when we look into the default settings with canva it is 5556 by 2000 pixels and so if you're trying to utilize these templates as a starting place you're going to get those blurry images you're going to get that low quality dpi setting and then when your customer actually get this product it's not going to look as crisp and sharp in regards to what your mock-up photos look like and that's where you get bad reviews and returns to always double check and see what is the print area size and this goes for any product right if we're talking about mugs we can see the same thing here go to start designing and we can see it being shown here as well so this is for anything that we're talking about because we definitely want to make sure that we're not wasting our time when we are creating our products but we're designing with the proper size so we can get the highest quality image sent out to our print providers and printed out for our customers when they get this and so with that being said we can go back into canva and put in this custom size here 4500 by 5100 and with this size it's going to give us that high level dpi which is going to be great all right, so here we are back in Canva and we want to head over to custom size and we want to put in that same size we received from Printify. So that is 4,500 by 5,100. And make sure this is also set to pixels because this is going to give us that very crisp, sharp design. That being said, we can create our design now and then we have that proper canvas size that's going to be great for us that we can start creating and designing for our product. I'll go ahead and create a design here in Canva and then we're going to download this and actually see how well this does in regards to, again, the print area in regards to the DPI setting. Is it going to print out a sharp, crisp image? We get all those notifications in Printify once we upload our design. And so let's go ahead and put something on our canvas and then upload it to Printify. All right, so here is the design that we created. Just something very simple for a back to school teacher design here for its first year teacher. We can see that we added in our element here with some hearts and our text. And if you want to get uh, all of my designs that I create and some of these I create with AI, make sure you check out my link down below. I share with you some free AI designs you can start utilizing yourself. And I give you some prompts as well to help you get amazing designs. So here is our design that we have. Again, we added in some hearts here. We have our element of the teacher and added in some text here. And I want to highlight everything just so everything is locked into place here. So we have our design. Now, one of the things we definitely want to do is make sure that we download our design the proper way. And so when we head over into Canva, we want to go to share. We want to hit download and we want to set this as a PNG. And I made this a little bit larger so we can see this. I'll set this as a PNG here. And this is going to allow us to have that option to remove this background so that we can have it transparent. Notice how this setting here is what we put in place, right? The 4,500 by 5,100, as opposed to what we saw early on with Canva basic template for a t-shirt. If I were to go to download, you can see that the pixel count is extremely low. So that's why it's important to put in that custom size so that you know that your designs are gonna be sharp and crisp and when you upload them to your, your on-demand provider. And you need to make sure you do that for whatever design software that you have. So that being said, everything is set here. This fits what we see in Printify. I want to select the transparent background here because if I'm selling this for different colors, I don't want this white block to be here. Then I'm here to download. And now we have a file we can upload into our Printify canvas that can be used to print out and shipped out to our customers. All right, so here we are back in Printify. And from here, again, we can upload our design simply by dragging and dropping, or we can head over to the upload button here that we can actually upload our design. So a lot of options here that we have. In our case today, we just simply drag and drop our design over. But one of the key things that we definitely want to look for is to make sure that number one, our design fits into the space 
perfectly. We might need to make some adjustments just based upon the art and design that we created, but to make sure everything is fitting perfectly in the space here. But also we're going to have some information on the side to ensure that we are getting that high level quality print. I want to go ahead and find my design and drag and drop it here. And we have our design in place. Now notice how this design came out perfect when we are trying to fill in the space here you can see here we don't have any you know outside of the box issues going on here we don't have to resize the image just with the fit perfectly on our design when we put in that proper size from printify into whatever design studio that we have it laid perfectly on our design and this process is for every single product that you create with Printify. Either be a mug, either be a t-shirt, sweatshirt, a hoodie, a tote bag, either be a tumbler, whatever you're selling, make sure you're following that print setting that pixel count is going to lay perfectly on your design. Now, the second thing that we also have here is that the information on the side tells us that this is a high resolution design. Again, the main thing we want to shoot for is 300 DPI because if it's just set to 72, that quality is going to be poor and it's not going to print out well for our customer. But when we put in that custom size that we gather over from Printify and add that to Canva, it will print out perfectly because it's set to a high resolution where it's set to a high level count, 300 DPI. So going back to Canva, here is the design that we created that has that high level DPI as we noted before, 4500 by 5100. But I want to share with you just how poor of a quality you get if you use the Canva presets for t-shirts. Now, I'm going to just simply copy our design here and plug it over to the preset that we had in Canva to create t-shirts. Same design, I can simply just copy and paste it here, but this here is going to print out at the Canva default t-shirt size. 1556 by 2000. So one of the things I want you to look for is the quality change, more specifically the DPI count, and see how that changed when we upload this template from Canva, that's a t-shirt size, into Printify and see what we get as a result. So with that being said, I want to go ahead and download this transparent background as we did with everything before. And I want to upload this design into Printify and see what happens to our DPI level count. And remember we had this set to 300 just by following Printify settings. And let's go ahead and drag and drop in that preset from Canva that we created and gathered from. And here's our same design that we have, but we're utilizing that preset from Canva. And you will see number one, the entire space of the t-shirt is not matching our design. So there's a lot of gaps here that is not gonna be filled out properly for our t-shirt. That's number one. Number two, notice how this DPI level dropped by half, right? We're talking about 150 DPI as opposed to what we had, 300 DPI, which changed our entire quality of our image, which can cause us to have a lower quality picture when we have it printed out. And so this is coming from the preset of t-shirts we have from Canva. Be careful what preset you use, either for tumblers or t-shirts or tote bags or pillows. Make sure you follow what Printify gives you. Now, one of the issues that we have here is that our design size is very small. We have to make this larger to make this stand out even more for the t-shirt. But I want you to see what happens when I make my image larger here just to fit the canvas size and look at the DPI number here and see what happens. Now, when I go and stretch this out to make this larger, Notice that my DPI number here is dropping. And the reason for that is the more I'm making the image larger, the less quality I'm keeping because I'm stretching out the image itself. And so not only do I have to make changes just to fit my design space, but when I make those changes, it's dropping my quality even further. And so if you're not identifying, again, the settings for whatever print on the main product you are designing for, you might come up to a space where you have a low quality image and not even know it. And then you're not going to get that high crisp print for your customer. And just as a reference, I'll go ahead and remove this template that came from Canva, which again, to make it fit is 103 DPI, super low quality here. I will go ahead and remove this and I'll plug in what we created with the size that Printify gave us that we customized in Canva. And you can see that it fits our space perfectly here and the level of DPI is high for us to print out and ship out to our customers. And again, this goes for whatever product you are creating, either be an ornament or it be a sweatshirt or it be a tumbler wrap, right? All of these products have custom size that we definitely got to go into and look at and make sure that we're following so that we have the best image quality as possible for our customers. So to make things a little easier for you in your design process, I have created several Canva templates 
that will give you the proper print size for all of the major products sold on Printify. This will make sure that when you are designing your products, you get that high level quality image that we talked about in today's video so that you don't be concerned or even confused if you are putting in the right pixel count. If you want to check out my Canva templates for you to get the proper size for all of the major Printify products, then check out my link down below. And if this video was in any way helpful or encouraging, let me know by subscribing to the channel so you can learn more about how to make income online with Etsy. As always, my friends, my name is Jay, and I will see you in the next video.